All right, welcome everybody. Thank you for watching and tuning in. Um, today, super excited to announce a partnership between Springboard VR and Checkfront. Uh, as many of you guys know, there's been a lot of pain that associated with the Springboard VR booking system and it not having uh, enough features. And I know a lot of you all have heard me say this before, but you know, we decided as a company that we could continue down the path of, of trying to build the most robust booking system or VR arcades, or we could partner with a company who that is their business, is to focus fully on building the world's best booking system. And so that's what we've done. Uh, and Checkfront is one of our booking partners, and they're going to do a demo for us today of their system. And towards the end, we're going to hit uh, s some Q and A's. So a bunch of you asked us some questions uh, that you want you want us that you want Checkfront to answer, and so they're going to do that there at the end. But I'll go ahead and turn it over. Uh, joined by Grant and Sam from the Checkfront team, and they uh, are going to walk us through a demo of their platform and tell us more about uh, the integration. So, Sam, Grant, take it away. Thanks, Jordan. Hi, everyone. Checkfront, super excited about partnering with Springboard VR. Thank you for submitting your questions. We look forward to answering them during our presentation. I'm Grant Jurgenite, VP of Business Development and co-founder of Checkfront. My focus is on Checkfront's partner community. Joining me is Sam Saul. She will be walking us through the Checkfront platform. Sam has worked with a number of VR arcades and is familiar with most configuration options. I plan to walk you through some highlights and pass it over to Sam to guide you through the platform. We can spend some time at the end for questions and let you know how to find additional information. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Checkfront. With a growing team of 72, we are constantly recruiting and adding talented individuals. Checkfront has processed over 3 billion in operator gross bookings, providing proof that the experience economy continues to flourish. Checkfront works with operators around the globe and has over 4,500 customers in more than 130 countries. Checkfront's customers represent a variety of market segments under the hospitality vertical. This is helpful for many types of operations and can be further customized to be a better fit for the respective business type. The complete Checkfront feature set is relevant to all VR arcades. Starting with building and optimizing your website for search and tracking conversion to managing your rooms and headsets, sending out notifications via email or SMS, and providing customers the ability to modify their bookings. Channel management for distribution through Reserve with Google Viator, TripAdvisor, and Expedia Local Expert, as well as offering waivers as part of a booking notification workflow, dynamic reporting, and easily access your mobile device for both Android and iOS. Integrations into some of the best of breed accounting, CRM, and marketing campaign tools. Easily generate and redeem promotion codes, gift certificates, or important import Groupon codes. Overall, Checkfront's key differentiators are in its flexibility to easily customize it for your business needs. I wanna draw your attention to Site Builder for an easy way to get up and running. Most Checkfront customer journeys begin at the website. To get the most from your website, it needs to bring you customers. Site Builder is built expressly to optimize search. We believe you should have choices when it comes to pricing, and I will drill into that further in the next few slides. Checkfront provides 24 seven support and are always keen to help out. Checkfront has historically provided a subscription model and serves most of our customers in that way. We realize that some customers are just starting out. To meet their needs, we're introducing commission pricing in October. In both commission and subscription model, you can pass the cost of booking system along in the form of a booking fee to the customer. I wanna point out studies do show that adding additional fees at checkout has a tendency to reduce conversions. Reference our blog article, is your booking fee leading to cart abandonment for more details. <clears throat> when, you're ready, when you are newly launching your business, the commission model can be a good option because you only pay when you get a booking. There are no volunteers and you will have a dedicated account manager. The benefits of going subscription include better value and set fees for easy budgeting. More details for subscription pricing can be found on our on Checkfront's website. Sam, I'll kick it over to you to share your screen. 
Thanks, Grant. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Sam. So I have been working predominantly with um, all of the check front and springboard customers. So today we're going to look at some booking flow at first, and then we'll lead into a couple of different things here. Um, so in regards to bookings, we can handle a variety of different items. So as you can see in the demo that I've built out here, we have single player options, double, parties, um, multiplayer, escape room, so some, something completely different, um, and then the ability to sell and redeem gift certificates. So let's go through the booking flow for um, a single player. So these are all categories, and of course you can change the view of what this looks like. Um, so if I click see listings, we'll be able to see all of our offerings, um, and I have a single player VR experience. So if I click this, what it will do is create a drop down menu of all of our different options. There are, of course, different ways to set up Checkfront, and it is customizable, so you can actually get it to match the branding on your website. Um, the pop-up can be changed using custom CSS. So if I click on a time increment right now, I can choose my time slot and date. We can show our um, photos, we can show video, um, and also a detail section here. Um, so we can choose our start dates and time. So let's go to 1210, and it's immediately gonna push through to half an hour because that's what I selected. And then we can select our participants. Everyone has their own way of doing this. Um, some people track the stations, other people track participants, which then equates to a station per participant. So we can choose how many participants we would like at this stage, um, we would then apply any uh, promos or voucher codes if we had any. Um, I can then hit continue. And then what will happen is our booking form will show here. So at this point, um, we can add on different items. So this could be upsells, it could be retail items, it could be pizza, for example. Um, right now it's prompting us to book the escape room. So we can do that as well and book it right away. So it shows it's unavailable for a specific time. So we can go to a different time and then still, again, choose our players. We may have more for this specific option, option but we may have the same amount as well. So if I click add to booking, this will then add to the entire booking here. Um, we can take payment via deposit. This could be a percentage. It could be a dollar figure. Um, it could be the entire total. This is totally up to you. Um, and then what we would do is we would have our um, booking form here. So if I put in Alex, for example, alexm at checkfront.com. And we can actually have these fields um, populate being item specific. So maybe we have um, the birthday parties where we require more information, such as the guest's age, things like that. Um, but we're, for right now, we're just going to put in some random numbers. And then we have other fields here. You can remove these fields as well. This is up to you. At the bottom, you're going to have your booking policy. This could be your cancellation policy and any other information that you need your customer to agree to. So we're gonna get them to agree to the terms and services here. And click continue. And at this point, what the customer will see is a booking invoice. And it includes what they have um, for how many people, the cost, um, and their information, and then your information as well. So at this point, they can pay via credit card or they can pay via gift certificate. Um, we do integrate with multiple um, payment gateways. Um, we know that some of you already have relationships built with them, so you can uh, stay with them um, if you would prefer. Um, or again, like I said, you can pay via gift certificate. So let's just put in some information here. And we will pay. So at this point, um, what would happen is since we took a payment, we would use our automated email notifications. We do integrate with Twilio as well. Um, so you can get those to send out automatically to your guests and also to staff to prepare for their visit. This is now the guest form. This is not mandatory to use, but for example, if you want to know who each guest is, you can gather that information. So at this point it knows that I have two guests. Um, I can simply share this link with my friends as well um, if we don't want to fill this out at this point um, and we can continue to the receipt or we can simply just fill it out. So I can add myself as a guest so I'm not completing the same information twice for the booker. Uh, so we'll put Alex M again and age will put 26. Um, and then again, these fields can also be customized so you can ask other things and you can see age was one of those new fields. So if I hit continue, it is then going to prompt the waiver. The waiver is built into Checkfront, so you aren't switching between softwares, and it is included 
in our plus plan. Um, again, at this point, if we don't want to sign the waiver, um, we will get automated notifications later. Um, and we can set that up in the back end. We can share the link or we can simply fill it out. So I will sign it and agree to the consent. These form fields can be added and customized as per your legal document. This is not controlled within Checkfront um, whatsoever. So we can say who is participating. We can have a mixture of people. I can click submit and then I can add my other guest. Again, we can do this at a later time as well. So I, I will simply continue to my booking receipt. And then what will happen, we will see the invoice. So we can create another um, invoice if we would like. We can continue filling out the guest details. Um, we can also go and modify. Checkfront has um, customer accounts where you can give your customers the ability to cancel their bookings or modify ahead of time. This is not something that is required if you don't want that as well. Um, so this is how a customer would complete a booking. We'll quickly go over how a staff member will complete a booking at this point. So I'm just gonna switch tabs. So these are all items in Checkfront and we will look at that in a second. So if I go into booking and new booking, this is exactly how staff would handle a walk-in customer or over the telephone. Um, all of our options will be here um, for the staff member to make said booking. Um, so we can choose the date for the customer. We can choose the item. So multiplayer escape room, for example. Um, we can choose the date again if we wanna switch it the time, again, the start time, and it's always one hour in this instance. Um, you can also have this where the customer chooses a certain end time and the cost auto populates based on that. Um, so we're gonna hit continue. Again, same booking form. These can be customized again for customer facing fields versus staff. So at this point for staff, we only have the name. Um, so we'll put in Alex again and we don't need to fill in any of the other information. So if I continue, the invoice will then be created as pending so we can take the funds um, via the telephone or in person so we can hit add payment um, and we can put the number through for the credit card. Um, we can say we took cash in person or um, credit card via your POS um, and gift certificate. So we can say $60 um, we can enable the notifications and if we would like, we can show a note on the customer invoice. Um, you can also use notifications to send them a email asking them to make a payment as well that is also feasible um, so if I click process this will now be completed um, at this stage you can also check this individual in if they're already here as a walk-in customer we can get them to sign their documentation again um, so we can simply hit check in at this point um, and the invoice will be updated to the time and date this individual was checked in and you can see on the right hand side who actually did this there are a few ways to actually find this information. We can go into the calendar view, the dashboard, which is what you see when you first log in, and that's that little check mark there. We can go into the booking index or simply go to the magnifying glass and type in their name um, or booking information. When you are on this invoice screen, you can also edit it. So if they want to stay longer, if they wanna add more people or simply add additional items or change the date of their, um, their booking. So if we go into the calendar, um, we can see this information in several different ways. So we can see the customer information with our items on the left-hand side. So you can actually see the booking that I just made. Um, you can see the color, which is the status. We know this is deposit. If it was green, we would know it was paid. You can see the time, how many people. Again, you can hop into this invoice right here. You can also make bookings at this screen as well, if you would like, if that is easier for you. Um, the other screen that you'll use quite a bit is the inventory calendar, which is fantastic because you can see what you're sitting at for the day. Again, you can um, add bookings here and you can change um, what our availability is. So we can simply say, hey, we wanna knock off the 15 minute um, for the entire day, for example. So we can click on it and we can update it. Since we are doing this in time slots at this time, um, again, this can be changed. Um, we can simply select certain times. Like maybe we do not want to do the early afternoon. So we can unselect those or select them depending on what we're doing and adjust the stock and we can write a note. So for example, um, no bookings have come in online, so we are closing for the early afternoon um, and simply click slave and we would be done. This is what consists of a demo of Checkfront. We can go in depth into a personalized demo as well. Um, Checkfront was built where the owners and operators and other individuals of the business can set up Checkfront um, by themselves. However, we do offer support. We have a great team offering 24 seven support. I would be your main contact as 
um, at Checkfront during your trial period um, where you actually don't have to rely on me or support where you can do it yourself. But again, you can also chat with us. We do also offer professional services where we can set up the entire account to a T um, for you. Um, and we are going to be offering templates of configurations that are um, most used by our um, customers so you can have a jump start to your account. Um, at this point, we're going to jump into the Q&A here. Um, we have a list of questions um, that you all have submitted. Um, so I will go through those at this point. Um, so at this point, we're going to talk about um, if in Springboard VR, you can set prices for each experience as well as Checkfront. Um, how can we get rid of the redundancy or does Checkfront push um, the data into Springboard. Um, great question. Currently, it is a one-way sync. In the future, we may look into doing a two-way sync. So what that means is everything from Checkfront will push into Springboard. However, it will not push from Springboard into Checkfront. Therefore, the prices um, can stay in Checkfront. We do um, suggest using Checkfront for all of your bookings online, uh, in person, on the phone, whatever it is, um, as it is one way. And it'll ensure that you don't have any overbookings and there's less work than putting it into Springboard and then jumping back um, into Checkfront. This also saves you from shutting down Checkfront for same day bookings or a couple hours in advance. Um, so those last minuteers can get in um, online as well. Uh, the following question was, will you provide a way for us to offer uh, paid monthly subscriptions? Yes, um, as Grant had mentioned, we have subscriptions and we all are going to be introducing the commission plan. Um, with the subscriptions, you can pay monthly um, or you can pay annually and save 15%. Um, this is not including any springboard costs. This is simply for Checkfront. Um, the following question was, will users be able to get discounts for ordering multiple hours per booth as well as multiple uh, booths per hour. Yes, there are a few different ways to do this, um, depending on how you operate your business. Um, we have something called group pricing. So the more um, items or participants that they select, um, the cheaper the invoice will be, and it will tell them that as well, that they're getting a special price. Um, you can also offer discount codes um, where it auto populates based on what is in the invoice, and it can also be inputted. So you prompt your customer if you book five items, put this discount code in and it will automatically apply. Um, the following question was, are, are walk-in reservations synced online so that customers booking online can't book the same hour? Um, this was answered previously. Um, it is synced from Checkfront into Springboard one way. Um, the next question was, how is padding time between reservations handled? Um, currently, what we would do is in the item itself, we have something called maintenance time and we can jump into that. Um, if I go into the item, we are selecting, so the 15 minutes of VR and we head over to our attribute section. Um, if we select per time or per hour right here, what we have is the ability to do a maintenance time. So we can set a maintenance time of say five minutes. So every single time an item is booked, it's going to put a five minute buffer before the next booking can be taken um, to ensure that you can go in and clean up and make any changes that need to be changed. Um, the following question was, do you plan to or already support custom gift cards? We do support gift cards. Um, this is available on our per, uh, pro plan and higher. Um, they aren't custom per se, so the codes are generated automatically in Checkfront. You can't put in random numbers. Um, what you can do is if you already have gift certificates, you can import them into Checkfront and continue using those. But any new gift certificates that are being sold in Checkfront um, online or in person will be generated using um, Checkfront's um, codes. Um, the following question is a bit lengthy, um, so please bear with me. Um, can we please make the single use coupon redemption easier? It needs to be able for a single voucher to be only used against a single experience, i.e. if the voucher is for one hour free, this should only apply to one person within the booking, but at the moment it allows you to select two times one hour and the voucher still takes off the 100%. Also need to be able to select different times of the day for the vouchers to be valid, i.e. after 6 p.m. on a weekend. 
Um, good question. So actually, um, the discount codes do work in that manner. So if we go to inventory and discounts, um, what is currently being done is a percentage is being used. Um, so what we can actually do is we can name our discount. We can provide a discount code if that's what we want to do. Um, you can also upload your voucher, such as Groupon, as mentioned previously. Um, but instead of using a percentage, you can use a fixed amount. So you can say, this is our one hour discount, for example, and put in the price of what you charge for that one hour instead of putting in a percentage. If you put in a percentage, it will take off 100% if you have three hours. Whereas if you put in 1999 and that's what you charge per hour and they put in two hours, it is only going to take off 1999. Um, you can specify that by per item. You can specify that after tax or before tax for the booking. When this applies, um, what rules it has to meet. So perhaps there has to be three items on an invoice. Um, and then what items this applies to. So perhaps this does not apply to anything but our single player 60 minute option if they book more than one hour, for example. Um, so I hope that clarifies that. Um, in regards to um, vouchers being valid for different times, that's currently not feasible. However, you can use item events. So inventory and item events, if we are using time slots, for example, so if I go new item event, um, and we were using a time slot um, instead of a per time like I was doing, um, you'd have a little option here that shows time slots and you can select them. So for example, if we have a different price um, based on the uh, morning and afternoon versus um, evening, um, item events are a great tool to use and it'll automatically pick up and the customer does not need to put in a discount code. However, as mentioned, you do need to use this time slots allocation. Um, those are all the questions for Checkfront. There are a couple questions remaining that I will pass over to the Springboard team. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Sam. So yeah, there's one more question. It simply is, when will this all be coming? Um, and, and so, I mean, it could, it, it's as soon as one or two weeks, there's already a few customers that are, that are uh, trialing the beta of this integration with Checkfront, uh, but there's going to be more information coming here in the next week or, or two at the most, I would say, with how do we get set up, how do we get going and trialing, et cetera. So just expect to see some communication from our side on that very soon. Um, and so that really wraps it for us. Uh, Grant, Sam, very much appreciate it. Very excited to, to partner with you all and be able to offer your services to our customers. I think they're going to love it and excited to share it with them. So thank you all so much for your time. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you, guys.